You can't have that gorgeous chandelier you saw at the shop for way too much money. Okay, so Sarah Gunn has a great DIY now. Let's take a look at your inspiration right off the top. Okay. So I want people to see uh, what you saw. So you saw this and you thought, oh man, is that a gorgeous chandelier? How can I take the sort of the idea of this mm -hmm. and do it for myself? At way at a way cheaper price. Right. So when I was redoing my dining room, I knew that this was the look I wanted, and I have seen them online for as much as five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Yeah, slightly larger than this, but for this type of chandelier, it can go that high, which is outside most people's budget. Yes. Yeah. So I did eventually track one down for my dining room that was significantly less, but for me, it was still a splurge. It was around four hundred and fifty dollars, right. and for me, that is. A treat. That's a treat. Yeah, and I'm fixture. not going to do it again anytime soon, but I want to yes. use one somewhere else in my house too. So I thought, why not try to make one? Mm -hmm. And I ended up making it for a fraction of the cost. I want to say, depending on where you get your beads, because yeah. if you can buy them in bulk, it'll save you a lot, you can do this for around $100, $120. Oh, amazing. Which is significantly less. Yeah, way less. Yeah. Okay, so how, this, I mean, this is how it all starts, which to <laughs> it, me is it it's started, so crazy. You're like, this started as this. Yeah, and then it turned in. And then it turned into in that. Exactly. That and is incredible. Yeah, it's it's quite a transformation. It is. But it's really easy to do. So you want to find a lampshade that is tapered. So it has a smaller circle at the top, yeah. a wider circle at the bottom. Okay. And another thing, and I'll show you with this one, is you want to have this in the middle because that's how you're going to actually suspend it. So you want to have, um, some of them have it at the top. Mm -hmm. um, or some of them you have at the bottom, but you yes. want it to definitely be near the middle and one where the light bulb is actually going to screw through it. So Got just it. remember that. Okay. And then, of course, you take off the shade. Yeah. And you're left with. And that was easy. You just cut that off. Yeah, I just cut it off. You just cut it off. And the other thing I forgot to say is you want to make sure you have these going from the top to the bottom as well, because if you don't and you cut off the fabric, yeah. you have two circles. Right. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so the next step is to turn it upside down, and you want to figure out how many beads you're going to need for this. Right. So actually, I'll turn it over this way to show you what I did. I won't show you the whole way, but I, with my children, because mm -hmm. they thought that was fun, mm -hmm. went around the entire base of it with the largest size, size bead, right. figured out that I needed five strands per section. Okay. And then you can good. calculate how many beads you want. So I went with, and you can see here, I did three of the largest beads, yeah. five of the medium, and yeah. five of the small. You want to do more of the smaller beads because it just drapes a little bit nicer. Oh, I see. Right? It doesn't get so How did you figure that out? Did you just know that in your head? Or was I, that just from what, like from looking at the other ones? I looked at some of the other on. ones for okay. sure, and then I just tried. I tried a few different ways, nice. and I tied on a bunch of different ones and kept holding it up to see what looked best. Good. Yeah. Thank you for experimenting for us. Anytime. So now we don't have to make any mistakes. <laughs> Do you know how often that happens in my life? That's yeah, good. Yeah. There's some failed DIYs in my life. <laughs> um, and then you want to work with this hemp twine. I actually like to use the jewelry twine because yes. it doesn't um, fray. Right. Basically. Okay, so that's what you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. And then you simply just tie it at the bottom. All right. So drop, this, drop I would imagine, beads. would be one of the more tedious parts of the project. You're going to want the TV on when you're doing this. But yeah, put the yeah. TV on. Turn on the TV. Turn on some good music. Right. Get other people to help you. Bribe them into helping you. Have someone to talk to while you're doing it. Exactly. Oh, talk on the phone, whatever you want. Talk on the phone. Exactly. And then you just feed the beads on. I won't do a bunch, but it, you guys, it's so easy. Yeah. Right. So you put the little ones on. Yeah, you put a bunch of the little ones on, and then gradually get to the largest and tie it at the top. Okay, so why don't I do this while you okay. tell me a little bit about um, suspending it? Okay, well, for, I want to do one more step yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, whatever step. So next. I felt like this wasn't chunky enough, mm -hmm. and you could see see how you see all the ties here at the top. I didn't, yeah. I didn't like that. You don't like so that. So I actually took an embroidery hoop. Yes. That was about the same size. Yeah. And I wrapped it around, and before I spray painted it, I did this because you're going to want to do that too. Um, I wrapped it around, uh -huh. and then once oh, you tighten, wow. you secure it in place. Mm-hmm. And then after you've spray painted it, and that's the fun part, and you have to get a little creative with that in a well-ventilated space, yes. I suspended it from a um, broom handle. It's the most action oh. my broom has seen in my garage for a while. <laughs> I tied, I basically tied a bunch of strings up on the broom handle, so it was, I'm not lying. Right. So, so it was suspended low, yes. and then I draped it across two boxes, Yeah. and then I just sprayed it. And the cool thing about that is that you could take that broom handle and lift it and rotate it and spray ah. the other side without getting your hands dirty. Oh man, that's smart. Yeah, so that was easy. And then, cool. once you have it sprayed, 
I wrapped it in the hemp twine. Yes. Just to keep it all together and to add a little bit of a texture to it and a beachy feel. It looks finished with yeah, that. Yeah, right. It looks beautiful. And then you want to get a light kit, and most home improvement stores will have these. Yeah. They have them in black, they have them in white, some other colors as well. You can get, they're very inexpensive. Yes. And then you want to suspend that from the ceiling, and actually you could do that before you attach it. Untie your knot, though, because sure. that's not going to look good. Right. Suspend it from the ceiling, adjust the height to whatever you need. Yeah. Stick it in, screw in a light bulb, and you're and done. And that's how it stays in place. Sarah, what a great project. Thanks. That is amazing.